this is uh, yeah the base of the ice fishing rod. So here's my little survival fishing kit where if you look here I have the different hooks I've made. Yeah, this is just some of uh, the things you can do. But this is with a security pin I think it's called. Here you have uh, the thing to this uh, key holder. Uh, here you have a, a game, <laughs> I don't know the English word. Here you have the opener on a Coca-Cola can and here you got another variant, just some steel wire. Uh, so there are some of the different things you can use. You can also use bone or wood and stuff like that. And this I will use when I fish. Okay, so it's dried up worms. So I'm down at the ice. Uh, I also have some spruce branches to cover the hole with so it doesn't freeze during the night and I have this big stick to uh, check how deep it is and also to mark my spot where I left this about this deep this was how deep it was and then I want to put the stick about there and follow the depth and the depth is all to here but pike you get at 10 to 20 centimeters above the ground so I'd say this is I leave about 20 centimeters at the bottom uh, so this is a good length then I put it through here so it still sits here while I put it in put a stick over like this then put this in side like this and it's soon ready now I will set this long tree down this hole to mark my spot and I will cover it with a spruce branches so it doesn't freeze. I will check this uh, tonight and I will also check this tomorrow so we'll leave it in for a long time. Now I will go up to the camp I will go out, gather some firewood, and I will improve the camp even more because tonight's gonna be a bad night for me. I'm gonna sleep without my sleeping bag, without the foam on the lay, so I need to, some, to do some more improvements before I go to sleep tonight. Uh, I won't sleep much, but hopefully I get, can get a few uh, hours of sleep at least, in periods, like 20 minutes, one hour, so yeah, that's the plan.
this is what happens if you don't do it right. I'm starting to get a bit dry now and uh, I'm feeling really hungry, hungry. So the lack of uh, yeah, food, water, etc. makes your brain work less good. And uh, yeah, so now I have no saw. <laughs> so I destroyed my only saw, but the blade wasn't totally destroyed. So I made a new one, which is quite sturdy, and I will try it out on the tree behind me. I can't take as big trees, but hopefully I can take, still take small ones without using my knife and uh, all the energy I got left. Let's try it out! Maybe some more steel wire, but uh, and uh, some other things, but it still works. <laughs> so I can get smaller trees down, which is awesome. Uh, I could use my knife, but uh, this will be easier, and uh, I won't use as much energy. So, yep. <laughs> So, how do you know if you haven't been drinking enough water? Well, I kind of self-evaluated myself. This is very yellow and this is my pee. Uh, your pee should basically be see-through and uh, yeah, very light in color. If it's yellow or brown, you have been drinking too little. Uh, maybe I drank like 3 liters of water yesterday. Because uh, every water I showed you how to clean, I've also been drinking. So I've been drinking a lot, but not enough. So I will sit here, take a break while uh, gathering the firewood, and just drink some water. And not only water, but my pine needle tea which will give me energy from the sugar and the sea vitamins this is a big boost for your your, your head So I'm gonna start with my lying bench now to get up from the ground. I wanna get up about 20 centimeters in this cone. Um, if you're not uh, sure on how much you need, uh, the standard is 40 centimeters off the ground. Especially in cold weather, like yeah, yeah, minus 20 or so. But I'd say about 20 is good for me now. something like this 
Uh, I will keep gathering spruce branches and I will fill in the empty spaces inside of the shelter. I took the ones uh, who already made in there because they are drier than the ones uh, covered in snow. So, as you see, I took uh, away the fire stop, the log I had um, against the fire. So now this will be much more unsafe to sleep on because the spruce branches could actually take fire during the night. Uh, I will get more heat, but it will be more dangerous sleeping this close to the fire. So that is a thing you have to take into consideration when you are building a lying bench, the fire, where you have them, etc. Yep, I start thinking about food and uh, it's day two and uh, half day has passed so this is uh, usually how I react in these, kind of si these kinds of situations. Tomorrow will be much better food wise but energy wise I will be very tired tomorrow. Water is uh, out, my third today. Uh, I will go on, down, fill it up, and when I come back, I will uh, put it on the fire and then go out to try to get some more wood. This is the wood I have so far. I have the best wood on the bottom, and uh, I will start with the uh, much, much. Uh, wetter wood. So I get rid of that and then I have the best and good wood uh, tonight when I go to sleep. So that's the plan. Go down, get some water, get some more wood. So I gathered some more wood and I gathered these small uh, spruce branches that burn so good. I'm gonna have backup in case of the fire in case the fire goes out. And I got my uh, birch bark right there, and I got some more in my backpack. So I will have this by my side, so I just throw it in if the fire goes out. I'm sitting here drying my uh, feet, my shoes, my soles, uh, and my socks because uh, they got really, really wet. So did my gloves, but they are dry now. So I'm just sitting here drying myself and uh, preparing for the dark. The right wood, the grey one, that's the best wood. That I will save for tonight. And uh, I've also dried this wood over here so it should be good enough to burn quickly but it won't burn as long as this grey one because this grey one is awesome um, I do have this big root as well I'm drying it and uh, when it's dry it will burn for a well, very long time so this one will be also be put in the fire when I go to sleep my water is out so I'm going down to the lake again I'm go also going to check out the fishing equipment to see if I got fish. If I don't uh, have any fish on the hook, I will leave it in and uh, I will check again tomorrow.
no fish so I will go back tomorrow and uh, see if I got any then hopefully I will have some fish So I just been out kicking on the trees uh, that have uh, branches over me to get all the snow uh, down or at least as much as possible. I do that now before I go to sleep because uh, otherwise the, the snow might fall on me or on my shelter or on my fire because when enough snow falls on a, on a branch it will sink and the snow will get down so this way I did one more preparation to make uh, myself feel as good as possible during the night and to save my fire so that was the plan with the kicking on the trees it's about nine o'clock so I've started to make a really big fire to get uh, some nice glow for the rest of the branches and uh, logs etc. I also started to pre prepare these stones by the fire. Uh, I have four stones in uh, about uh, a fist of size and uh, I will have those stones on me while I sleep. And I will put them in place it with uh, thin blood vessels, like uh, uh, my groin, my armpits, my uh, behind my knees, uh, and stuff like that. Just uh, so I get warm. And these stones really, really help, and they keep you warm for one, one and a half hour. And then you just switch them out, and you do that, work with them like that. So my shirt starting to get dry this will be a this will be a good add-on on my gear tonight and my underpants they are starting to get dry as well time is now half past nine so at 11 maybe 11 30 I will uh, try to sleep and I probably will sleep for like an hour or so and then I'll see you when I get up so this is what's happening when you find the right wood I found a root and I put just put it on and it's so warm and it burns like gasoline this root is awesome it's uh, on dead trees it's because it has so much sap in it I don't know the English word for it I will try to look it up and I will show you but seriously it's like so warm I can't I have to move back from the fire because of this <laughs> this is the wood you need and you want when it's really cold outside now it's just annoyingly hot <laughs> so it's about 11.30 and I'm gonna prepare myself to go to bed I will try to get a few hours as I said and hope for the best the fire is going great, they probably will burn for a couple of hours more. So let's hope it gives me much warm this, uh, this night. So I got my pants all dry. I got my big uh, nice uh, underpants, the warm one. I got my hat on which is dry and my big shirt which is dry. So that's good. And I got the big one in uh, spare. And I will have it like this, in a plastic bag, and I will use this as a pillow. I also got a pair of uh, spare gloves and spare socks. I got the inner sack of my backpack, which I will push in my feet through. Like that, and I will use this plastic bag like that. 
and it goes up to about my waist. On my upper body I will have my jacket. My shoes I will have like this. So they stop me from rolling over and so they dry by the fire. So this way I can't roll in my sleep into the fire. I will crawl into my jacket and if I found the ground too cold I will take on my jacket. So the stones are ready by the fire. I will use them tonight uh, as soon as I wake up and feel uh, uh, cold. Right now I'm kind of warm. The fire gives a lot of heat right now and uh, I also have some uh, boiled water standing by the fire so it keeps warm so when I wake up later I would have a warm and nice drink and I also will do some exercises like squat etc to get my uh, heat going from inside the body as well uh, so when I wake up I will squat I will take warm rocks into my my clothes. So this will be my night. <laughs> Wish me luck and uh, good night guys. So it's a bit past five. I uh, had some sleep between uh, uh, two and three, I barely slept anything and uh, uh, between uh, four and five I got some uh, some sleep now it's uh, about quarter past five and my fire is almost out so I need to go up and restart it and I need to do some exercise I also need to heat up some stones and heat up my uh, tea my pine needle tea as well uh, because it's uh, really cold right now and uh, I yeah I need to get the fire going so that's what I'm going to do now so I got the fire started nicely I won't go back to sleep again it's uh, I don't think I will uh, gain anything on it, not much at least. So I will just keep warm, boil my tea and uh, yeah, get this fire going real good. So, starting to get warm, the fire helps a lot, uh, the fire is going great, the glow has been on the whole night so it's been very easy to start or restart. Right now I'm quite good, the light is uh, starting to come forward, so uh, yeah, let's ride the night. Now I'm just gonna warm myself, warm my gear, warm my everything by the fire. Drink some hot tea and uh, yeah, just try to, to get uh, real warm and cozy. So that's the next uh, thing I will do. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. So, I had to go up at, uh, at around 2 or something, then I peed in at this bottle. Uh, and uh, yeah, it kept me quite warm for a while. And I also used these stones. Which are still 
quite hot that one at least those are these are not that hot so I switched them out during the night I had two stones in at the same time I switched one I took one in switched one took one in and did it like that all night long so how was this night uh, in a survival kind of mindset it was quite good I got somewhere between three and four hours of sleep I had the fire going I had the stones I had the pea bottle I have the warm uh, pine needle tea and uh, yeah it was quite good it wasn't the worst night I ever had I checked the fish, didn't get any fish. That's life. The bait was gone though. It's so cozy right now. Time is about half past seven. And uh, right now I feel great. I can feel that I haven't eaten in uh, soon two, two days. Uh, it's about 40 two hours or so right now since I lost eight uh, I can I feel a bit hungry I, I can't lie about that but it's not that bad my energy is still quite high I had a great sleep last night this night a couple of hours so I still got enough energy uh, yeah I'm kinda sad to say it but I'm going home today uh, I'm going uh, in about two or three hours or so. I love the feeling being out in the forest. It's something else. Sometimes I rather have it a bit more cozy with a sleeping bag and stuff. But sometimes I want it uh, a bit harder. I don't know why but uh, I kind of like those kind of things. I hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, I really enjoyed being out here, I hope you learned a thing or two, and my battery is almost out, so I have to do this quick. So thank you so much guys, I'm hoping that you're watching the next video as well, I'm out, I'm out to get some pizza, and uh, yeah, just have a good time at home, uh, before uh, the next adventure. So Thank you so much for watching, and see you!